Hi, I'm back here again with the uh, Predator. I've put everything back together. So, just kind of recapping what we found. The the canister that, that's up here, uh, I noticed the opening or the air inlet for that. It's very close to a rubber hose. I was able to back the, the hose off a little bit, uh, move that around, uh, tighten the canister back up. Uh, so there was a little bit better airflow for, for that. The tubing, uh, there is uh, several tubes in here. Uh, those tubes, if you look at the owner's manual, they run down into slots in the bottom here. You can actually see the tubes uh, protruding through the bottom. The other thing was uh, a little bit of uh, dirt, and one of the one of these plastic tubes went to the top of the the engine through a uh, a mount and went nowhere. So uh, I'm not familiar with that that tube. I got to look to see if there's actually something that that connects to uh, or not. Um, it doesn't make any sense for it to not be connected to anything. So I'll have to find that. Um, and in tearing this thing apart, it was obvious that, uh, it had been worked on before somebody attempted to work on it before, uh, whether they found what I found or not, I'm, I'm thinking they, they didn't, they took the module out. Um, but they may have missed the, the short point that, uh, I pointed out in a previous video. So all in all, getting the thing apart, uh, was not that bad. Uh, getting it back together was not that bad. Uh, one thing I do want to uh, point out is I, I did rotate this uh, outlet right here, as I mentioned. Uh, six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then take the screw out of that, This uh, the knob for the start, run, and off positions. Just take the Phillips head screw out of that. That slides right out, and the whole panel just folds right down, uh, nice and easy. Uh, I think that's that's about it, other than uh, the update in the part, which was that uh, there is a um, seller on eBay for this. They're out of Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm going to get a little closer on this so that you might be able to see the numbers. I'm not sure if those numbers are just for the coffin which is this plastic box right here. This is black epoxy that they've uh, filled filled this in with. This uh, That two-part epoxy uh, I used in a uh, power, su power supply company that um, I worked at, and we took uh, modules, power supplies, and other things, and the two-part epoxy was put in to do a couple of things. Then uh, harsh environments and whatever keeps all the components from you know vibrating, it also protects them from moisture. Uh, it also, if you have a proprietary design uh, and you stick your circuit card into a coffin like this and fill it with the black epoxy, it makes it really hard to get in there and dig that stuff out uh, without damaging other things and you know ruining the possibility of figuring out how that uh, circuit board is, is made. Uh, in any case, this part is being sold on eBay for $75.00. Um, is that, uh, probably very expensive for, for this? I would say, yes, that is. But, uh, considering, um, uh, that I got the generator for $350 and it normally runs for $799 unless it's on sale, uh, having to change out a $75 part brings me to $425. So I've saved myself a couple hundred bucks and I have a running generator, I believe. So there you are. Uh, now it's just a waiting game for the, for the part and, uh, we'll, we'll see what, uh, see what happens. The other thing yet I have to do is uh, I got the back panel back on, but I still, uh, need to clean out the spark arrestor, uh, both of them and, uh, just kind of waiting to do that but anyway here it is it, again it's a generator ignition igniter module and the part number listed here is that um, 
It was on eBay. Another to, to help you out because there is just, I have not been able to find a lot of good sites for these parts is there's also a B and E pressure 35 I, which looks exactly like the predator exactly. Only it's blue and it has B E pressure on it. Uh, I guess those are sold in Canada, so that's another search option you can use. Because uh, a lot of the ignition coils show up, and that that sort of thing kind of frustrating. I was up uh, pretty late last night trying to find an alternate uh, supply or supplier to get the part, and uh, wasn't wasn't successful. But I did get a message back from the supplier on eBay said that they should have more of these in this week. So I'm hopeful. Uh, told him. Or asked him, please, to pencil me in for one. I would really like to have one. <laughs> and uh, I guess the next video will be the installation. Um, there's more I want to say about this. I, I put this all back together because I, I realized in what, what I need to do to take this apart on the side that I need is just that screw, that screw. I need to take this screw out and oh this that one's already out of here then there is a bolt here bolt here and a bolt here take these three screws out of the back and then <clears throat> excuse me this panel will come off this um, well if you notice also the actual uh, pole handle, I just folded that down so I could put the, the lid back on. So you'll have to pull enough cord out to undo the knot. Make sure you hold on to the knot. Don't lose it. <laughs> You're going to give yourself another problem. Just uh, fold the, uh, the panel down, tie an overhand knot so you don't lose, lose the cord. But uh, the handle and everything is attached to this on the inside. I'll have to take the knot out myself again and run that through the hole and reattach the uh, the handle, but that'll get this side off. Uh, this does not pop off. It's actually screwed uh, in place from the inside. That way, I'll be able to get the module back down here uh, where where it belongs. And that will be uh, that will be it. All right, we'll talk to you.